Hey y'all, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. My name is Jason Morrison. Today we got some fun stuff planned. Uh, honestly, I just remembered that I wanted to try to do a solo B-roll uh, type of video a few months ago and I never really got around to executing it. And I thought I'd pick up the camera again and do a vlog. We're using the G7X this time, guys. So let me know, compare, or go back, watch my first vlog uh, that I posted the other day from late November. Then compare it to this one by the time you finish this video. Let me know if you guys prefer me vlogging on the G7X or if you guys prefer me vlogging on the GH4. Because um, on the G7X, I, I can't use uh, an external mic. I would use the Rode Video Micro. Not perfect, but I, I think it beats the G7X mic. So I don't know. We'll see. So con compare those two videos. Video quality, audio quality. Let me know which one you like. But yeah, we're going to try and get out there and just record the solo B-roll video that I, that I had planned a few months ago. And we got... You know, I mean, we got the GH4 on deck. Sturdy little boy. Honestly, the GH4, it's not a bad camera, but I'm just, I've been thinking about if I wanted to switch to Sony or Canon lately, and I just can't decide. I mean, the A7 III, um, not even just because I watched a lot of Daniel Shaver, the A7 III, I just love the quality on it. And then the uh, EOS R or the um, R5, not the R5, Jesus, I can't remember. The 1D, the 1DX Mark III? One X Mark Five. Jesus, guys. Honestly, I, I I probably sound like a complete idiot, but I always get those uh I always get those mixed up. But those are one of the two cameras that I want to switch to. Panasonic, nothing wrong with it. I mean, like I said, first camera GH4, you know, is has been putting in work, and I'm gonna be using it for real estate and everything like that. But I just want more options in terms of lenses, and I want a full frame camera. So that's kind of where my headspace is at with that. And we got the Ronin S. Because I'm going to need that GH4 is has no in-body image stabilization. So we don't want shaky footage. That's a fact. But you know we already got that boy on deck. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to head out, boys, honestly. Hey, yo. I ain't even going to lie to you guys. Honestly, the G7X. Ooh, 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 look at that lighting right there. Oh, that's that's nice. That's nice. I like that. Anyways, I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. The G7X, like, if it had an external mic input, man, this thing would be like the best vlog setup ever. Like, I, the quality is not bad. I mean, it shoots in 1080p, right? Um, I actually might make a video on whether or not the G7X is still viable to vlog with in 2020, because it's one of those cameras that like a lot of the vloggers. Um, and a few YouTube filmmakers, um, or just filmmakers in general, I don't, don't want to say YouTube filmmakers, I'm not trying to discredit nobody, but the G7X is just one of those cameras that like a lot of people said was a go-to, you know what I mean? So, honestly, the quality for 1080p, still not bad, just the external mic is my only problem, and uh, it sure as hell beats having no autofocus with the uh, GH4, but yeah, we about to get out there, I don't know where we're going to pull up to to do this like solo b-roll thing man i think we're gonna location scout a little bit um i would have done that before this but you know in new england the sun goes down so quick and then uh, by the time i find a spot guys the sun will probably be going down and it's already overcast today i'm not trying to waste time yo let, let's let's get out here let's find somewhere to go all right so we at the spot uh where i'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to film this uh, solo B-roll video, and honestly, I was here a few months ago. I tried to film this same style of solo B-roll video, literally like three months ago or so. Never went through. Clips were kind of trash, and just other stuff happened. But yo, honestly, today's perfect. It is a little cold outside, but yo, honestly, if you're dedicated and you're trying to get the right shot, guys, that's the type of stuff you gotta go through, man. <laughs> I find that my favorite part about vlogging is that like I get to see more of my personality on, on the channel. I feel like you guys get to kind of experience what I'm like and just kind of, I want to have more of my face on the channel, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, yeah, I love videography and filmmaking and stuff like that, but I'm also a really laid back dude. I want to talk about a lot of different stuff. I want to have a lot of different content out on the channel besides just like cinematic sequences and honestly, man, look how beautiful it is outside right now. Like, it just looks really nice. And just like this is part of my day-to-day -day life. One thing that you guys can't feel that I feel is it is cold. This is this was a very interesting day to pick out trying to do a solo B-roll video, but hey, it's a nice little spot. I think we're gonna try 
and do something short and sweet, but it, it'll, it'll come out real nice, guys. I'm telling you. We'll see. All right, so we're pulling up to the location. Only problem is I'm using my I'm using my Ronin S bottom pieces, my uh, tripod for my camera. So I'm, I might have to switch that out. We're gonna put things down. We're gonna kind of get set up here. We at like a little bridge area. I think this is kind of nice, nice little place to do a solo B-roll video for sure. Like I said, I was gonna try to do it here eventually, not eventually, um, originally a few months ago. So let's try to do this again. And it is so cold. I think I wanna try to bang this one out pretty quick. Yo guys, real quick, like, I really wanted to be productive today, okay? I really wanted to get out here and, and record like a nice little solo B-roll sequence so I could stay on my grind and everything like that. And let me tell you guys, it it, it has to be like negative something, like negative 10 degrees or some crazy shit. It's 23 degrees. Wow, it feels way colder. Guys, I, I was outside, right? I was ready to film the sequence in the little area that I was in. Like, the, the temp, like, oh my god, my hands are, I can't feel my hands right now. Like, I was blasting the heat. I had to put the camera in a better position so you guys could actually see me. I was blasting the heat just like a few minutes ago because my hand, I can't feel my hands. Like, I, I literally can't feel my hands at all. The weather is crazy. Like I said, I wanted to be productive today, but the weather said no. You know, uh, some of y'all might have it in you to be able to, to film in like extremely cold weather to where, you, you know, I think my first mistake was that I didn't bring gloves. Like, I don't know why it didn't occur to me not to bring gloves, but I didn't think it was gonna be this cold outside. And yeah, I learned the very, very, very hard way because now I just wasted my time and I don't really have anything else planned to try to be productive in terms of trying to get out there and shooting. Um, so damn, yeah, my whole my whole schedule is flipped now because uh, I don't even I don't even know if I get gloves if things are gonna be okay. Maybe I could try to get some gloves, but God, uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to update y'all. I'm gonna have to update y'all for sure. All right, what's good, guys? We've been back for a few hours now. Unfortunately, we didn't even get to film the solo B-roll or like cinematic sequence I was trying to do earlier today, just because it was so damn cold. Like I just was not I was not about to fit, Look, guys. Guys, it was freezing. Couldn't even feel my hands to press the button, so it wasn't gonna work out today. Like I said in my last vlog, I'm not planning stuff out, but I at least want it to be a little interesting. But anyways, without even thinking too hard, I think I wanna try to film another video for my channel. I'll probably end up doing my export settings because I think, um, you know, it, people who are watching my channel, I would assume, are also new to filmmaking because I'm still new to filmmaking, even though I'm about a year and a half in, right? I, I still consider myself brand new because I haven't done many 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 different things i don't think i put in close to enough work to call myself anything more than a newbie in this field so yeah i want to try to do my export settings in premiere that'll be a fun little video to do and i just been watching full-time filmmaker if you guys are watching this uh this video and you're not uh part of full-time filmmaker i strongly recommend it especially if you're a new filmmaker because full-time filmmaker man like it has given me the structure to learn so many different things about filmmaking that you literally, you just can't get it on YouTube. Real estate videos without full-time filmmaker, I wouldn't have any sort of knowledge on how to go out there and film real estate. Um, they have weddings, if you're into that type of stuff. I'm not into weddings, personally, that doesn't interest me at all. Uh, but they got you, they got you with music videos. Um, shout out to YC Imaging and Creative Ryan, they do music videos too, great content, check them out. But um, full-time filmmaker gets you a nice little class for music videos. Um, how to edit, you know what I mean, the editing side of uh, filmmaking, even with like cool transitions and stuff like that. They got you with uh, just the basics and the gear. If you're like trying to figure out aperture, ISO, white balance and all that stuff, they got you with that too. Like I learned all the basics through this class. And honestly, my knowledge in filmmaking before, you know, I was just watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. It was good. But after this class, like I'm telling you guys, having a structured class that's showing you everything you need to know about filmmaking, um, like lighting and gear and all these different things. It's gonna help you out. It's gonna speed up the process. In terms of courses though, honestly, I didn't even, I'm not like, I feel like there's no need for me to say sponsored or anything like that, but honestly, I just can't recommend this course enough because it's helped me kind of get to where I need to be, even though I'm not even close to where I need to be in filmmaking. Can this focus? Hello. Thank you, G7X. Um, but look, yo, you got Music Video Pro, 
You got Seamless Video Pro. They show you how to do the cool edits and stuff like that. They got you with, um, you know, the editing. This is Wedding Video Pro. The editing's right there. Commercials. Man, I'm telling you, they got it, they got it all on there. I paid, um, I think, six hundred. But like, guys, six hundred for all the content in here, pretty crazy. I th think it's definitely worth it. Like I said, invest your time and your money into whatever you're trying to do. That was the last vlog. I still got that video up on so we're, and you guys are y'all just vlog exception. You're seeing the old vlog in the middle of the new vlog. Shout out to Ryan Ko, dude. He he has some great content. A lot of inspiration being taken from his videos. Yo, this G7X is struggling today. All right, there we go. But yeah, a lot of inspiration taken from his videos. He does really really dope. Really high quality videos. Shout out to this dude. Um, and honestly, I guess he, I guess he watches uh, YC Imaging because he just mentioned him too. And I got like the squad of the people I watch, like Maddie, um, Peter, Daniel Schiffer, YC Imaging, Creative Ryan, Ryan Ko. Um, probably missing a bunch of other dudes. Shout out to everybody who I watch, man, because you guys are the ones keeping me going and uh, staying inspired to do filmmaking and stuff like that. Um, and a bunch of other YouTubers, but honestly, we're not, we're not here to do that, but hey, like I said, man, this guy has real high quality content, and right now I'm just watching his video about uh, how he created seven days worth of Instagram content in 24 hours, and uh, stuff like this is so helpful, guys, especially like marketing, because like, I mean, YouTube is, not YouTube, Instagram, and getting your Instagram game up, if, if we would focus, G7X, thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. You're on, we're on the same team. Yo, getting your Instagram game up is hella important. You guys know that. You guys don't. You guys don't need me to tell you that. You guys already know that having your Instagram game on point is like super imperative. And I just, I can't. I really can't wait until I'm like really good at this. Cause I, I suck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck right now. I'm pretty trash at filmmaking. I'm pretty trash at taking photos. And like I know that I got, I gotta put the time in. I gotta put the time in to be able to, uh, you know pump out high quality content but I just I really can't wait until I'm at that level because um, I always wanted to have like my own little aesthetic creative Ryan because it has like the grungy dark kind of color grade YC imaging as well um, Peter McKinnon he kind of has like light kind of more warm happy colors and stuff like that same thing with Maddie and you know everyone has like their own little style on Instagram and stuff like that and I can't wait till I get like you know, my own little style on Instagram and get my little Instagram feed going, but actually, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at my Instagram game right now. We, like I said, we could be doing better. My Instagram game is eh. Honestly, guys, I feel like my Instagram game this year has been a little better than in the past. Oh, it's good. Roddy? What's Roddy up to? Anyways, <laughs> let's not get sidetracked. But honestly, I think... Oh, alright, so 983, guys. Yo, if you're watching this video and you're not already following me on Instagram, Go follow me on the gram, guys. Come on, look at it. We're so close to 1K. Ooh, ooh, focus, focus. Yeah. Don't leave me hanging, guys. Come on. We, we 983, we could get those numbers up. That's for sure. But anyways, um, yeah, I feel like my, my Instagram feed could definitely be doing a little better. Um, I mean, like, I'm, I'm starting to get more pictures of me, you know, actually out doing stuff. Like, that's cool and everything like that, but... You know, we got my little video, but, you know, when you compare it to, like, a dude like YC Imaging, like, you guys see what I mean? Like, he has a nice, consistent look. He kind of has his own little style, own little flair going on. I mess with it. I mess with it. I, I, I like that. And, and I'm not trying to copy nobody's style, you know what I mean? I'm just saying I'm grabbing inspiration uh, from dudes that I watch and dudes that I look up to kind of in the filmmaking space. So I can I can formulate my own little personality and my own little style when I start to get a little better at what I do. Creative Ryan too, he kind of has like the more grungy, dark look. Like that's a dope shot. I like that. Um, but yeah, man, I can't wait till I get my Instagram feed on point like that. Cause um, you know Instagram is just so so important. I feel like a lot of people are underutilizing TikTok too. I've seen a lot of a lot of TikTok uh, filmmakers. So yo. I want to hop on TikTok too. That 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 would be a nice play. A lot of smartphone videography, photography, and filmmaking on there. But that's definitely a market that a lot of filmmakers are not utilizing that I see. So guys, good morning. My job expects me to shovel through all this snow just to get to work. This shit ain't happening, bro. I, I'm about to be late to work. I don't know what the fuck they think I'm about to do. We just finished shoveling out my car. 
It's crazy right now. It's crazy I even have to go into work. I figured I'd show you guys like a little sneak peek. Nothing in detail because I'm on the clock technically right now, so I gotta get to work soon, but just figured I'd show you guys that I'm in the middle of like a crazy snowstorm right now. It's crazy that my job even wants me to go into work. Work at Subaru. It's just, it's wild. It's wild. Who, who's gonna be buying a car right now? For real, like who? Who's gonna be out here thinking that right now is the best time to be going to a dealership? good boys we back in the whip um, it's been a few days since you guys last saw me it's been a few days since I last recorded um, uh, you know any any clips for this vlog any anything I was doing uh, it's been probably three days three days or so I saw you guys on Monday today is now no I didn't see you guys on Monday I saw you guys on Thursday so I last filmed on Thursday today's Sunday and I'm chilling in my car I'm about to head to the gym just woke up just, you know, started with my morning routine, cold showers, meditating, you know, brushing my teeth, reading a book and all that good stuff. And I'm ready to ready to head out to the gym. It's been a rough last few days, man. Um, I just want to, uh, I feel like I want to dive into, after the gym, you know, the gym's just going to get my spirits up, get the blood flowing, uh, you know, just get me feeling really good. I love the gym. It's like therapy. Um, but honestly, you know what I mean? It, Sometimes, man, we, we, we just got to dive right into the things that we love doing. Even, even you know, sometimes it's just the only choice we have. We, you know, it's either go big or go home. And if you really want to make your dreams come true, man, you really got to put in the work. And I'm going to try to put in the work. And, and I don't even want to talk about it because I hate talking and not taking action. I'm teaching myself to take action, talk later, or just not talk at all and let the action speak for you. But, hey, without, without getting too much uh, onto a rant this morning, guys... Um, we're gonna see how today goes. Nothing planned at all. We're, we're, we're just gonna really just see how the day goes and feel it out and just try to be productive and uh, hopefully hopefully it goes well. So I'll see you guys in a bit um, and we'll, we'll just we'll just take it from there man. Let's go. All right what's good boys we out of the gym. Um, ooh, let's get some better lighting. There we go. Anyways yeah we out of the gym. Uh, it was pretty relaxing. I'm not even gonna lie that that kind of got my head right. You know what I mean? I'm kind of in a better headspace than I was when I first woke up. We're on our way to get some breakfast. Um, I'm actually gonna buy breakfast today. I've been trying to save money by, you know, getting groceries every now and again and then just eating at home, but we really don't have much to eat, like at the crib. So, you know, nothing wrong with uh, getting some honeydew. Honeydew is good stuff, you know what I mean? Honeydew is definitely good stuff. And luckily it's not too expensive. Um, it's a decent price. Ooh, lighting was kind of bad right there. Um, but yeah, honey, this is not too bad. And honestly, I think a nice little bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant with a glazed donut won't hurt nobody for a day or two, you know what I mean? All right, so I went to the store not too long ago, so we should have some sort of fruit in here. Oh, we got the apples on deck. Okay. Apple, yo, apples are my favorite, so apple, that'll work. Strawberries left. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. This will definitely work. We definitely want some of that. Some juice is definitely going to work as well.
Hey boys, we beveraged up. Finally made the drink. We out here. So upstairs, watch some film videos and get, you know, get our minds right, see what we about to do. Another thing is though, guys, I forgot to film this video in 24 FPS. Like half of this whole vlog was in 30 FPS. And I figured it out literally just like last night. Was it last night? It was the other day. I think yesterday or something like that, I was going through my clips and I saw that like all the clips are literally in 30 FPS, which is super annoying. And the reason why is because every time I would turn off my G7X, the the settings for it would revert right back to 30 because uh, I, I would forget to save the settings. I would change it and then I would turn the camera off and it would go right back to 30. So unfortunately, half of this video is probably going to be in 30 FPS. So you're not really going to get the film look in this vlog. I think my third vlog will probably be my best one yet. And we're going to try to up the quality with each one um, and just kind of find my style for vlogging. So I've been watching like a lot of people, mostly Creative Ryan, but all, you know other creators as well, kind of see how they vlog, see you know the way they have their style, so I can maybe formulate my own as I go. And I'm not even gonna stress it. Like I'm just gonna get in the routine of putting out content and just seeing what I can do. But yeah, just just want to let you guys know that it's it's probably gonna be in 30 FPS. But um, either way, I think the vlog is gonna turn out pretty great. Hey boys, so we just been chilling ever since we made that drink. Um, really, just been you know relaxing. And just kind of like thinking of, you know, other ways to be productive, like I was saying earlier. You know, got some food, just kind of laying back, eating some food, and we've been editing. Also, one thing I, I don't, the, you know, you guys don't know about me is I, I've used Photoshop for years. Um, I'm not saying I'm like a big guy in Photoshop. I don't know everything, but I've been messing around with Photoshop since I was like 15, 13, like, not 13. I think 15, 15 years old, I've been messing around with Photoshop, and it's just always been fun to me. So, you know what I mean? I always like nice clean channel art and to be honest like like i said guys i'm no um graphic designer or anything like that but i think i do a pretty mean job for in terms of like just clean channel branding i mean i know it's simple text over a background but you know it looks really nice when you get it up on your channel and stuff like that and having like nice branding for a youtube channel is like one of my favorite things ever and i just think it look, goes so well like i got my procrastination video up there you know, we got me looking nice with the branding. It, it correlated. The colors kind of go together. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Like, presentation is everything. Same thing with my website. Like, I think my website is so fresh. Especially, like, I made this all myself. So, just the fact that, like, it has the animations. Strive for more, strive for better. It has my little, uh, um, you know, I, I was going to say catchphrase. I don't know what it's called. But, just, I thought that had a nice little ring to it. So, we got that on there, got my picture up there. One of my favorite pictures of me holding a camera, by the way. Um, and then, like, my YouTube, my Instagram. Like, this whole website's just super clean. My photography page. Honestly, I think having a clean website is, like, one of the biggest things you can do to make it look like you're professional at what you do, you know what I mean? Like, even though I haven't really gotten out there and done a big job yet, having this page is just... It's definitely going to help me attract uh, clients and stuff like that just off my website alone. Real estate page empty, but not for long, guys. Not for long. I can't. Re I really can't wait to start doing the real estate stuff um, and just branching out to other stuff too when I get the chance. So, you know, we we putting in some sort of work. We trying to get the gears going again. Trying to get the fire lit under myself and actually put the work in. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave you boys like that. Uh, it's been real fun doing these vlogs. Like I said, we're stepping up the quality tenfold as we go on. And man, I, I just, I, this, this video stuff, it's really fun. I've really been falling in love with it. And uh, even, even though I doubt myself a lot of the times, I know that once we put the work in, we can create some really dope stuff. And uh, I want to create a really nice community of people that kind of are on the same wavelengths as me. And uh, my potential has not been uh, explored yet. That's a fact. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.